Hello, my dear friends, my dear lovely audiences, my fellow Angelinos. Welcome to the East West Show. Jack Chow is hosting with a lot of pride. And this is the opportunity for me. I take sometimes as a classroom where I tend and sit there, and I get a chance to see all kinds of people. I got a chance to see, to touch all kinds of issues, including issues of how to live a healthy life. Well, I always want to live a healthy life, even though I'm in little reasonable、uh, condition, <laughs> and I consider myself healthy. I want to be healthier. Sure. Right. Absolutely,、so. we all do. To those of you who are not living a healthy life and you still want to improve it, and to the, those of you that you hear the miracles of a healthy living plan, how much they can improve.、Uh, People's life. Here today is a moment that I have my friend、uh, Yolanda Davis Corey、mm -hmm. joining me. She is a independent consultant of a healthy living style.、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, Yolanda,、sure. I will say thank you very、Absolutely. much. And welcome、Thank、to、you. the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Jack. Thank、right. you very much for having me today. And、yeah. the pleasure is mine too. Yeah, I believe、absolutely. the pleasure is also to my audience. I hope so. Because they hope finally,、so. after waiting and waiting and waiting, we rescheduled the show because、oh, we、yes. had some cancellations、absolutely. due to here and there. Sure, sure. Now finally we met. Absolutely. Yeah. And let's talk、yeah. about how we live a healthy sure, life. Sure,、right? sure, okay. sure, 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 sure.、Uh, okay. You know, it is a big subject. Yes, it is. It could be as big as a lifetime long theme. Sure, absolutely. Or it could be as a, a as little as a, a teaspoon of sugar or something. Sure, absolutely. Right. So, how do you define、mm -hmm. your business? Okay. Well, let me like the way I define my business, right?、Uh -huh. I bring necessary information to the show to get my audiences informed who I believe they deserve. Sure. The information. Sure. Like, say,、mm -hmm. how do you define your job? And that's really what we do.、Um, mm. My company is Arbon. That's been around for 36 years.、Mm -hmm. um, started out botanically based from 36 years ago. So no, you use a big, too big term. Botanically based, yeah, plant botani derived. Yeah, <laughs> plant derived. <laughs> I know. Right. I know that. Right. Know that. And which is、uh, really good for for us because、mm. vegetables and all that are much, very healthy for us, right? So、mm. we started out botanically based 36 years ago. No gluten. And you know, gluten is the big、mm -hmm. word, trend word these yeah, days, right? Yeah, yeah. But Arpon started out no gluten 36 years ago, before the trend. Huh. So,、um, it's vegan certified, and also uh, uh, doesn't use any GMOs. It's all no dairy, no soy, all the things that are really not particularly healthy for us. And so, one of the things that、um, I think can help us, you and、mm. I, in leading a healthy lifestyle, is watching our nutrition、mm -hmm. and trying to have a lifestyle that puts food in our bodies and use nutritional products, some of them from Arbon, that are、mm. going to help us lead a healthier life. Very good. Okay. Very good. That's quite a definition already. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Now. By definition, I still want to argue a little bit, okay, sure, or meander a little bit、sure. to make sure that things are understood 100%. Sure.、Uh, talking about different group of people,、mm -hmm. for the pe the group that I represent,、mm -hmm. we eat lots of meat.、Mm -hmm. I'm a meat eater. Ah. I am a meat eater. I was born the way that way. I was read that way,、mm -hmm. and I'm living that way.、Mm -hmm. I still will be that way.、Mm -hmm. Unless, okay, unless, 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 <laughs> unless I meet somebody like sure, Yolanda or something, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. And put aside, group、sure. number two will be the one hundred percent vegetarian,、mm -hmm. vegetarian group.、Mm -hmm. They reject、mm -hmm. any kind of my food. Sure. They never touch my food. Sure. So, are you belonging to the second group, or are you in the middle who allow me some meat? We are sort of, we are in the middle because what we talk oh good so what we talk about is educating people about what they can eat in terms of clean food and what foods are dirty and what I mean and we'll talk a little bit about that because part of what this program does is it educates people to learn how to get a detoxify your body detoxify、okay? all right and to create an 
alkaline environment for your body, uh -huh. which is a healthier you said a, environment you instead of acid. acidic, right? Uh -huh. Because if your body is more acidic, your body's going to be more prone to illnesses and diseases and uh -huh. maybe even cancer, right? Uh -huh. okay. So you want to have more of an alkaline environment that the, the cancer cells don't grow as readily. In, in other words, you do not totally reject the food I eat. Do not. Do, do not. not. Okay. Do not. You, you know, because... You know, I'm asking, the reason I'm asking yeah. is that I often come across friends who belong to the vegetarian group. Sure. Right? They kind of like... Uh, how, how, they how? make you feel badly. Yeah, that I you're feel bad. Meat, I, right? I feel bad when right. I talk to them because right. they kind of uh, look down upon the food right. I eat. Right. Right. And I feel offended. I yes. think, okay, yeah. I'm an animal, the kind <laughs> that I was born of. Okay, you yes. do your way, I do my way. Right. It's okay, don't say right. anything, yeah. whatever I do. Yeah. So if there is a discussion yes. in between, yes. okay, Jack. Here's something probably you can still do, but yes. do it this way. Yes, and and you're gonna what you're I gonna. I will accept. Because what you're gonna look at is uh -huh. uh, w making sure that the meat that you eat is organic, that it's grass fed, right? That you're mm -hmm. not having. You n you need to look at that. So your beef that you're eating is organically fed, that it's not cows that are uh, have. Additives, fed, additives stuff, yeah, chemicals, yeah. and all the preservatives. Mm -hmm. um, your your um, eggs that are not, they're cage-free eggs that mm -hmm. are organic. Organic mm -hmm. eggs are a little bit more expensive, but you can do cage-free. Uh -huh, animals, uh -huh. chickens are not cooped up, and they're not getting all the antibodies and all the things that are making them That we it. can that talk you, a that lot. That you can do, right? That we can that talk can a lot. Do. Um, mm -hmm. You know, my husband comes from a, a, a Caribbean country, Jamaica, where mm -hmm. they don't eat a lot of meat. But they eat a lot of fruit and they eat a lot of vegetables, uh -huh. but they do eat some meat. Because the challenge you have with vegetarians is that they have to make sure they have the protein intake because protein builds muscles and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So you just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutrition. I am a consultant for the company. And so I'm educating myself as I well as I educate those who come into the 30 Day Healthy Living uh -huh. program about things that they need to know to make smarter decisions, mm -hmm. right? Because if you know mm -hmm. information, you can make smarter decisions mm -hmm. about what's going to work well That's for why you. you say you're only botanically Based. Based. We are only botanically, botanically based. based. Yes, You're not a vegetarian. No, we are. All okay. of our okay. products are botanically That's based. That's better. Yeah, which is better. That's a better so term. Our, mm. our 30 day healthy living um, actually teaches people what meal plans to uh, to use, um, what meals to what foods to avoid, what foods you can have in your meal plan. We do have chicken. We do have fish, but we say use organically, organic chicken, mm -hmm. use organic fish. Okay, all right. Uh, right, right, right. Mm. I don't eat red meat, and I haven't had red meat in a personal story you want to share. My, my husband um, was uh, preparing for his fifth Olympics. He's one mm -hmm. of the Olympic, uh, mm -hmm. Jamaican Olympic uh, oh, Olympians, okay? Uh -huh. A sprinter. Runs, oh. runs fast. Okay? I see, I see. And um, at that time, he was saying, you know, I think we probably shouldn't eat red meat because it's just harder to digest. Well, it is. Red mm -hmm. meat is a little bit harder for your citron to digest. Mm -hmm. So we haven't had it since 1984. But long time. 1984. Long time. Right, right. But That's the Olympic yes, in, Los, in, in, in Los, LA, Angeles, Los Angeles. You absolutely. Coliseum. Absolutely, right? yeah, yeah. Well, Los Angeles Coliseum. Yeah, he got his fourth uh, Olympic medal at that time. His silver oh, medal. Yes. did he? Yes, he did. All right, he good, 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 good. So good. We, we, we lead a healthy lifestyle just because of him. Right? He, he's an athlete. He's very in tune with his body. The question is that, mm -hmm. does he or do you have the energy necessary? Absolutely. Because if you're getting rid of your toxins, right? You're getting rid of the inflammation. You're not feeling... Part of having toxins build up in your body mm -hmm. is that it, it, it doesn't have your body uh, filter things and you're not doing the things. Like, just think of an analogy of a bathtub your body's a bathtub, right? Mm -hmm. And you have the faucet and you have the drain. So if the water's coming in and the drain is working well and food's coming in that's, that your body can filter well, it goes out of the drain well. Mm -hmm. But if you have toxins that are clogging up, Mm. Everything, right? You're overflowing. Exactly. And then uh, by overflowing, exactly. I'm saying overweighting. Well, you get overweight. <laughs> you're not feeling well, right? Right? All right. Yeah. I see what Because the toxins kind of add to the fat mm -hmm. cells. You notice a lot of people I are getting. I kind of prefer your way because the more 
amicable to digest. Mm -hmm. Sure. Rather than getting criticism. Sure. Or sure. Kind of, ah, sure. Like and you know, that. you respect each other's lifestyle choices. Mm. Vegetarians, that's their lifestyle choice. And I think they have a lot of reasons that they choose that lifestyle. But what we want to do is educate people to choose a healthy lifestyle right. that can incorporate both veg vegetables that are alkaline produced. For instance, All you want right. to have lemon and good, lime, good, okay. right? Very good. Because very they good. have are more alkaline, even though they they seem to be mm, acidic. Yeah. But the way your body okay. filters them, they become more very alkaline. Good. And I'm not an extreme person. That's why I'm asking you, sure. checking with you. Are you talking about 100% vegetarian or not? Right? No, I think you. Mm -hmm. I think you have to do. You can lead this lifestyle. You know what we always always encourage people to do a 30-day kind of detox program for 30 days. Get the mm -hmm. toxins out of your body. Allow us to work with you to get those toxins detoxification out of your body. Get your body more alkaline. Okay. Get your body more set. All right. Okay. okay? Uh, my dear audience, once again, Jack Chow's benefit, Jack Chow's the privilege of getting this opportunity to learn more about how we can live a healthy life. In other words, healthy living is the key. If you want to live longer, you don't want to die tomorrow <laughs> or die today or die yesterday already. Or if you died yesterday, you won't be here anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a little funny, right, sometimes. Okay. So let's take a very short moment now. Let's come back, coming back, we will discuss with Yolanda more about uh, her, her company's 30-day uh, plan trial, right. whatever. Okay. And stay with us. We'll be right back, please. Perfect. Hello, dear folks. Welcome back to the Healthy Life Discussion with Yolanda. Yolanda is a new friend. She's a beautiful friend. She's a healthy friend. And I can know by her proportion, I know she's very <laughs> healthy. All right, welcome back to you, the Jay. show. She Thank is you. an independent consultant of healthy living. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a saying that if there is a crying baby, bring, bring the baby to the mother. Ah. So it looks sure. like you are the mother of the crying baby. Ah, okay. okay, okay. The crying baby being after clarification mm -hmm. of the definition by which I understand you do not reject kind of my food sure. and you are not 100% promoting those 100% uh, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. are only in the middle recommending which is good, which mm -hmm. is fresh to recognize which is the one that will bring you not the toxic. Yes. Right? Okay, right. very good. Right, right, right. Now it's time to concentrate on your 30-day plan. Okay. Okay. What is your 30-day plan? That's one month. Right. And 30 days is enough to to detoxify your body, get your body kind of in an alkaline state, and to actually learn about what's going to work for you and feel better. Most people that go on this 30-day healthy living program, they are amazed at how energetic they feel, how much better they feel. Mm -hmm. We've had people drop their, uh, their, uh, their glucose counts. We've had people drop their blood pressure counts. It's all, of course, individual. We mm -hmm. can't guarantee mm -hmm. all of that, Interesting. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but we've had some people who have um, gone to their doctor and have, they've gained some weight, right? And the doctor said, well, and your cholesterol is up and your blood sugar is up. And we had one lady who was actually sort of 63 years old. She had mm. eight children, you know, five mm. of them adopted. And mm -hmm. but so what she was eating, what the kids were eating, right? Mm. All the sugary things okay. and all the things all that right, you okay. can. So she, of course, had, um, had gained a little bit of weight. Accumulated some, accumulated kind of some weight, weight yeah. right? Because mm. the toxins were building yeah, up in right, her body. Right. And so, she said, the doctor said, well, we're going to have to put you on cholesterol medication. We're going to have to put you on, on glucose and insulin and, and because of your, your, you're becoming diabetic, too. And she said, mm -hmm. you know, doctor, let's just, just give me 30 days. I'm on this program. Uh -huh. I think that it, let, let's see if it works. So 30 days later, she lost 18 pounds. Oh. Okay, which is which is good. That's quite quite right, a quite a quite bit. a substantial. And at her age, because you know, as we age, we don't drop the weight mm. as easy as when we were like twenty or, or eighteen. When <laughs> we age, up, we are we become kind of a starving, <laughs> a starving with the right, weight. Right, 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 right. Mm. Um, and she dropped all of her levels, her counts, mm. so she didn't have to go on the medications. 
okay. that her doctor was. Oh, so that's no. a that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Um, yes, yes. So mm. what we do is we 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 have people. We teach people how to eat whole foods and use some of our Arbon nutritional supplements that's going to help them out, mm. right? Because they're all botanically based. They're all meant to help you increase your fiber. We have a prebiotic and a probiotic enzyme. Mm. Because as you know, over 40, you're not really uh, producing as much enzymes in your intestine. Mm. And so, you know, the, the organs that you want to make sure that you filter out are your intestines, your kidney, your liver, mm. your skin right your lungs mm. those are organs that really are meant to filter out the toxins that we put in our body mm. but because of our lifestyle you know you're running around busy right grabbing yeah. this grabbing that i'm running around mm. grabbing this and when i had i have adult children now but when i had young children you know you're you're trying to get them to school you're trying to get into soccer yeah, you're trying to course, get them yes. past, all these mm. things mm. but you can make healthy choices mm. in this program okay so mm. we actually and we so we kind of provide a closed group. We provide you coaching from someone like myself. Mm -hmm. We motivate you because mm -hmm. the first week is probably a little okay. difficult. For example, mm -hmm. if I decide to join your program yes. for 30 days, mm -hmm. what do you want me to do? What do you do to me day one? Well, what we do for the week before you say, we have groups that start the, the first and third Monday of every month. Uh -huh. my team. So the first week, the first third, third Monday, Monday mm. we try to then the week before you're going to join a group, mm -hmm. you say, Yolanda, I really, I'm ready to try this. Mm -hmm. We try to get you the Arbonne products mm. and we, then we start that whole week in educating you, teaching mm. you what are the acidic food, what are the dirty foods we're going to say, then what are the clean foods, what are alkaline, because the whole thing with your pH in your body mm. is that you want to keep your pH in your body. You remember chemistry? You had the whole yeah. grid yeah, from 0 to 14, yes, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So acidic is lower than 70. Um, seven, above somewhere uh, seven. 7. I'm sorry, 7. Mm -hmm. Above 7 is more alkaline. 7 is neutral, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you want to uh, provide an environment that none of the illnesses and are they going to thrive well. Like, for instance, cancer is mm. not going to thrive mm. well in an alkaline environment. Not to say that you're going to prevent it completely, mm. but you can kind of give yourself the edge okay. right? by, right. by having that mean. alkaline environment mm. and getting rid of the time. So we're going to say, Jack, okay. here's your products. We want you to order your products. Mm. Jack, here's your reading. We want to educate you, and every week we're going to educate you, mm. give you different areas so that you can learn to make smarter choices mm. and then we give you a meal plan we give you recipes we give you a recipe of things you can have for breakfast things you can have for lunch things you can have for dinner and snacks because what you want to do is eat three to every three to four hours to keep your bodies kind of churning mm. well because you don't want a lot of us we skip meals are those kind of food or something it's always usually whole foods it's foods that you you can get from the supermarket that are whole foods that are not canned so you're going to get your Brussels sprouts. You're going to get um, uh, sweet potatoes. You're going to bake them, right? You're going to get cauliflower, um, green beans. Are you broccoli. providing me a list? We are, indeed. Uh, We're providing uh, you a list of food for the meals. That, that I are, go get in the supermarket yes, myself? Yes, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. And we I even thought, give you suggestions. I thought, I thought you would train people to eat your canned food. No. 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 We teach you mm -hmm. to go to your grocery store. All right. So that, and, and get the right foods from yeah, your yeah, supermarket, okay, okay. right? Uh -huh. Because it's really the concept of learning how to eat clean um, that we teach you and what things to put in your body. like. For this whole 30 days, what's mm -hmm. hard for people is mm -hmm. we don't mm -hmm. allow any alcohol. You don't allow alcohol? No caffeine. No caffeine, no, no coffee at all? No coffee at all. Uh -huh. No sugar. Zero sugar no or sugar. less sugar? Well, it's going to be natural sugar. Like what we have in some of our products is cane sugar or stevia, right? It's nat That's sugar from the beets. The regular pink pack? Did no, you don't want the don't pink want pack. Those, right? You don't want that. That's all chemicals I and see. things that okay. are really not good for you. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want sodas because a can of soda, how much sugar does it have in it? 16 teaspoons. How about Diet Coda? You don't want that either because it has that pink and the yellow and the blue. I mean, you, you th that's chemical stuff that's I making see, this. So, okay. so you want, and we have things that are going to help you curb those appetites. No alcohol, no, no caffeine, sugar, no, no caffeine. Sugar. 
No gluten. No gluten. Right? Mm, such as... No, uh, no, so you're not going to have... Your bread that you're going to eat is going to be gluten-free bread. Okay? Because gluten can cause inflammation. Even the syrup? You don't want to have... Like, for instance, I have... My mother's from Japan. Mm. Okay? My mother is a war bride. Ah. So I grew up with soy sauce, right? You have Japan blood. Yes. Oh, Japanese, right. half Japanese, half, half African-American. I okay? see, I see. I grew up with sashimi and sushi. Oh, and, I like sashimi. Okay. <laughs> and soy sauce. Sashimi goes with the wasabi. <laughs> That's my best Absolutely. food. Absolutely. Yeah. But the soy sauce, right? Because mm. you don't want... Soy any, sauce, you yes. don't want it. We don't allow soy. Because soy can uh, create hormone, uh, more, mimic more female hormones. You don't want more female hormones, I don't want that either. How, right? about, how about tofu? <laughs> tofu, you don't want tofu because tofu is soy. Because a lot of soy. I eat lots of tofu. I know, I did as well. I'm I, did enough. A, I, did a, I did as well. Yeah. But a lot of tofu that's produced here in this country is genetically modified, mm -hmm. right? So you don't want that. What we're trying to do is to get you to get away from all those things that are gemeti, gemeti, genetically modified. Uh, because those are the things that are oh. causing havoc on your body, creating the toxins in your uh, body. You and you can. You know, I just go and I get like tamari sauce that is exactly like the taste of soy sauce. Now I notice that some of the brand, the brands that I'm used to going up with, with that produce soy sauce, the ones that you probably are, no, are mm. familiar with, mm. they have gluten-free soy sauce now, right? Mm. And they have less sodium. I you know, see. you want to have less sodium. Mm. So it's just about using the things, changing, eating the same things, but maybe differently and adding different product. So mm. we provide you the list, we the tell list. you where to go, mm. we give you recipes, mm. you actually have a group of a community of people that are in that closed uh, private group that are saying, discuss, yay, they Jack, uh -huh. they take pictures of their meals, uh -huh. they say, Th I got a great recipe, I for see. instance, with cucumbers. Encouragement. Encouragement, because don't yeah, we need uh, that? Uh, very good. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, my dear friends, I'm... Uh, I'm getting interested. Good. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I started to see the interest. And number one, I thought uh, they reject the food I, I eat. I feel offended that way. <laughs> and number two, I learned that we are not eating canned food. We're getting a <laughs> uh, hand selected a list of uh, grocery purchasing. Sure. sure. And we go from there. All right. Mm -hmm. Today, thank God I have a Yolanda here. <laughs> to share with me and my audience about her specialty. She is an independent consultant for healthy living. So stay with us, we'll be right back. Hello, my dear friends, my dear fellow Angelenos. Welcome back to the show under the lovely California sunshine. We all want to live longer, so that's a wish. To do the wish, to make that into reality, you have to do your day-to-day -day input. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Your day-to-day -day input being part of your working style, your whatever style, including your eating style, right. your habit. So today with me, my friend Yolanda Corey, Yolanda Davis Corey, mm -hmm. she is a expert in this regard. She is an independent consultant. And my friend Lou, Luann Arredondo, yeah. introduced her to me, says, Jack, you will never regret talking to her. <laughs> well, it started, it looks that I started to feel that way. Oh, okay. Number so one, I thought she was going to reject the food I eat because she sounded like a vegetarian. No. She is the botanically based mm -hmm. food advisor, called that way. Okay, right? sure, okay. Uh, sure. And secondly, you were talking about, I was worried about getting a bunch of canned food from her. This is what I sell. No, <laughs> she doesn't do that. No, no. She gives advices mm -hmm. by providing you a list of grocery mm -hmm. so that you base your food upon mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now. My question. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe that you and I belong to different market system. I sure. mean, supermarket system. Sure, absolutely. Okay, I buy my grocery mm -hmm. at a certain sure. supermarket. Sure. And you buy yours. Sure. And they provide uh, products sure. with the strong ethnic characteristics. Sure. Absolutely. In it, absolutely. Right? absolutely. For example, you you do your broccoli. Mm -hmm. I do my cauliflowers. Yes. 
right? Right. Okay. You do your cucumber Japanese right. style. Right. I do mine. Right. Right. Uh, even the the salaries. Yes. Are different. Are different. Are, right. are different, right? right. So right. how are you advising me mm -hmm. by overlapping mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. ethnic differences? Yeah. So there are things, you know. As I said, my mother is from Nagoya. Mm -hmm. So I grew up going to Japanese supermarkets as well as American supermarkets because oh, my dad is American. Right. Skoshi. Okay. Skoshi. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I'm familiar visually, and I've been to Taiwan twice, so I'm familiar with the Chinese mark supermarkets that look very different than the Japanese supermarkets mm -hmm. that look different than the American supermarkets. Mm -hmm. But we do have similar vegetables. You know, Chinese broccoli is different than the American broccoli. Mm -hmm. You've got the Persian cucumbers that are different than the yeah, American yeah, of cucumbers, course. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would presume that in each of these markets, you have organically produced cucumbers, broccoli, uh, right? Uh, okay, okay. We have stir fry. I eat it all the time. You know, because what I is like that? stir fry vegetables, right? Stir fry vegetables. Yeah, so okay. you mm. can stir fry vegetables in coconut oil. Coconut okay, I oil. do that all the time. Coconut oil is a very like good. Like the string beans, yeah. that's my right. best. Right, right. I mm. used to all the time before I got into cauliflower is my cauliflower, best. Cauliflower, mm. um, bean sprouts, mm. right? Bean sprouts, yes. Carrots, mm. onions. Sliced mm -hmm. chicken. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up making the spring rolls, right? So, and you can go to Thai restaurants. They have pad Thai that's rice noodles, not wheat, mm -hmm. right? You can go to Vietnamese restaurants and have rice noodles mm -hmm. and ask them to give you vegetable broth uh -huh. instead of beef broth or chicken broth. Mm -hmm. You can ask them because they will ask you, right? I see. So, I think it's you. you in all these different cultures, one of the things that we have to learn is how do we adapt our own cultural food to making sure yes. that what we're eating yes, exactly. is going to be healthier and it's not going to add toxins to our body mm. that are going to continue to make us unhealthy. And there's right? another thing in that uh, I find Chinese food more attractive. Okay, even sure. Even by looking. Sure. By color. Sure. And by the even the... Uh, the, 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 the plate that sure. holds them. Sure. Right? Sure. American sure. food, you have a steak sure. there, lies like a, a, the territory of a Taiwan. <laughs> it does, it does. Or New York. Yeah, right. Or right. Texas. Right. Right? Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. You have a, you have a knife, you have a fork, and you do a, you act like a carpenter. Yes. And you eat. That's yes. it. That's it. Right. Yeah. While you do Chinese, you have more visual. Sure. Right? Absolutely. Different color. Yeah. That gives you the, 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 the encouragement. Yes. Or is more, more, more enticing. Yeah. Yeah. That you continue eating. Yeah. So yeah. that give make make you can accidentally eat more. Right. So let me. How give are we? How am I supposed to overcome that? Well, let me give you an example. You know, part of the products that you're going to buy when you start this 30 day health day involves protein powder. Okay, mm -hmm. we had the first vegan protein powder ever in America because we started 36 years mm -hmm. ago, right? Now everybody is joining the bandwagon and having vegan protein powder, mm -hmm. but ours has the only uh, only one that has the uh, complex amino acids uh, complex. The protein in it, right? powder, right? To make shakes, you've seen people make their smoothies and their their sh smoothie shakes, right? Mm -hmm. So when we went to Taiwan, we tested, of course our skincare product as well as our nutrition products with the Taiwanese population because of course their taste is going to be different than the taste here you're by the right, Americans. Of right, course, right, of right, course, right? right? right yeah. We found that the Taiwanese found that our protein powder was too sweet. Uh huh. So we reformulated that. I see. So the protein to the taste to the taste of the Taiwanese. Of, the local. Uh -huh. of course, mm -hmm. because otherwise it wouldn't be received, it, they wouldn't take advantage of what it can do for mm. them, right? We want to make sure that they take advantage of it. Okay. So we reform, our, our, we have Dr. McTravers, Peter McTravers, who is our, he's a chemist. Mm -hmm. He probably has the largest number of chemical um, patents in the country, oh, I Dr. See. McTravers. I see. He came to us from Aveda um, that got, by, got bought by um, uh, Clinique and we got him as a result of that, right? So he's mm -hmm. the one that formulates, he's a PhD in chemistry. Mm -hmm. And so he goes all over the place to make sure that we have the right, the most 
curious ingredients that we put. Mm. If we're putting pea protein in our protein powder, which we I do, see, we do I pea see. protein, mm. cranberry, mm. cranberry protein, and rice, brown rice protein, he's mm. getting the very best of that pea plant. Ah, Do you see? I see. So mm -hmm. we've got, we are really fortunate to have Dr. McTravers as part of mm -hmm. our um, family. Another word mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand, because mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I sound like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I want to start right away. <laughs> <laughs> so with the list you provided, mm -hmm. I go to my grocery yes. and uh, I get a box or, or, or can of your protein powder. It's, it's I can a start uh -huh. right away. You can? Uh -huh. I can start right away? Yeah. Well, what you get with our product, with the third day, you get pro two bags of protein powder. Mm. You're going to get fiber because none of us are taking enough fiber to mm. keep our colon clean. Mm. None of us eat that much, right? Uh -huh. You're getting the prebiotic and probiotic enzyme, um, which helps us break down, right? So you want to get rid of the toxins. You want to have the enzymes that are going to help you break down the food in your colon because mm. just putting things in that a colon that's not uh -huh. cleared, it doesn't do you any good. Mm -hmm. You're getting these... Um, uh, energy fizz, which is like, which helps you put you put in water, which helped me, for instance. I use, and I almost hate to say it, I used to love Coca Cola years ago. Mm -hmm. Coca Cola is really, it's, it's a beverage of choice by a lot of people, but it's not all soda. And I won't say Coca Cola. Let's, take a, that. Yeah. let's say, let's not take a brand. Let's say I'm soda. I'm a victim of it. Okay, let's say soda, <laughs> right? Because I don't want anybody saying, oh, I'm not <laughs> trying to. I, let's okay. say soda, mm -hmm. um, because. Soda has a lot of sugar. Now they are realizing as an industry that they're working on that right now. And I've noticed mm. that they're trying to replace the sugar, mm. that, which is a good thing, okay? Um, so what moved me away, what we liked about sodas is the fizziness of it, right? Mm. So we have this energy fizz that ah, you put in water ah. that will give you- The taste. The taste. Ah, Pomegranate ah. flavor and the citrus taste. Yeah, flavor. Yeah, the taste. It'll um, give you the taste, mm. right? And so I honestly, honestly, I'm a uh, diet coke consumer, mm -hmm. right? I'm I eat more than the word that I supposed to eat, <laughs> and then uh, a sixteen. I got a sixteen pound, a sixteen ounce of uh, New York steak, oh. and then I ask for a diet coke. Yeah. That's a joke itself, <laughs> right? That's a joke itself, right? Yeah. The fact is that I ask mm -hmm. for the flavor. Yes. As long as you give me something of that flavor, we're gonna give you I'm the flavor. okay. We're gonna, cause re, we, what I'm we okay, give, yeah. What we you see what I mean? Yes. You see what I mean? Because you, yeah. it has to taste good. I mean, mm -hmm. for the beginning, you're, I no longer crave soda, right? I no longer crave caffeine. Mm -hmm. I quaff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. in a hot summer day, yeah. I rushed right home right. and grab the uh, right. refrigerator right I just quaff yeah. a gallon yes. or whatever yeah. I don't know but yeah. you're always you know you're always thirsty you're not quitting so if you are putting something in your body that you know your body's going to be able to assimilate better right. because you've detoxified you're working on your alkaline, you're you're making sure to balance your plate and we tell you mm -hmm. what you should have in your plate, how much vegetables, how much protein, All how right. much. You know, my husband's always saying, because he's Jamaican, he's always saying, Americans really eat way too much food, right? We put that big, you, we don't need that big, I bet big, he might be sleeping. He, he's some because he works out every day, because uh -huh. he was a sprinter. I mean, he's, he's a, a gold medalist okay. sprinter, okay? Mm -hmm. So he's used to that. But he's also used to eating mm -hmm. healthier, not mm -hmm. eating as much meat. You know, having a lot more vegetables, having things that your body can digest better. And as we age, we really do, you Jack, and we have to make sure we want to, we're living long lives now, right? 80 and 90, we're living, especially in the Asian culture, you know, we have a lot of longevity in our Asian culture. Yeah, cultures, you're right, right, you're right. You're so right, do you right, want to yeah. get older at 80 and not be healthy? Mm -hmm. You want to be healthier, and you do that first from you're your nutrition. Right. Okay, by logic, by mm -hmm. practice, they are right. Yeah. <laughs> they both are right, right, right? My dear audience, today, I really uh, cherish this very moment talking to Yolanda about how we can eat healthily yeah. and uh, to, uh, to live a healthy life, right. uh, so, so on and so forth, okay, all together. Let's take a very short moment out. When we come back, I probably really have to need her advices how to make my selections at the supermarket mm -hmm. of doing the right food, mm -hmm. not picking up those uh, 
those uh, generically uh, right. uh, re-coordinated, right. whatever, yes. uh, food. So stay with us. We'll be right back, please. Hello, my dear friend, my dear audience, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for watching my show. I know lots of you love me because uh, I ju make my judgment by the amount of emails I receive uh, from them. Okay. They really like me. They say uh, beautiful words about me. Uh, I, I, I'm, not I sometimes I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Sometimes I'm flattered <laughs> looking at those emails. And I thought, Am I that good? <laughs> that kind of, right. Yes, you are. Yeah. Thank yes, you very you much, are. my dear yeah. audiences. Uh, say send it to jack at edimediainc.com, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, okay. we're talking about how to eat, live a healthy life, mm -hmm. right? It is a wish for everybody, but in every day's day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. you might not necessarily be responsible of what you wish to do. Sure, sure. Right? So that's the problem. Sure. Such is my case. Sure. All right, now, at supermarket, mm -hmm. How are we to tell which is generically def refined or not? You're How, what's have your to term? Really generically what? Genetically modified. Modified. Yeah, modified. GMOs. No GMOs. GMO. Right? Genetically right. modified. Right. Which is not? You, which is? You want to make sure to look at your your labels. Really mm -hmm. read your labels carefully. Uh -huh. Okay. So the less that they have on it, the better it has. Mm -hmm. And if you can't understand what's on there. It's probably not. It's probably uh, may not be that good for your but body. But to some fruits, it has numbers that start with a four, with a five, whatever. Those, mm -hmm. those numbers. What mm -hmm. are they for? Um, you know what I my practice is is that I really try to stick to the basics in terms of things that I like. So mm. what I when I go through, they give me recipes in this meal plan. Um, I look at ones that are going to be easy for me because part of the thing lean is what's going to be easy for you. Right? Yeah, of course. Um, getting a lean turkey that's been raised by uh, cage-free, range-free, organic turkey meat. So I grass can, fed. Grass fed. Mm. You know, you those can, words are those good words, words. right? Okay. You you can go to the supermarket and look at that, um, and then you can make those easily. You can grab things. You can get your vegetables. Brussels sprouts, mm. broccoli, um, mushrooms, all those things that are easy for you to get hold of. Okay, right? simple. Mm -hmm. That's not a man's job. It's supposed to be my wife's job. She is mm -hmm. too lazy to do her job. <laughs> I sometimes I end up doing hers, right? <laughs> right. Okay, now, selecting eggs, mm -hmm. right? There are eggs of brown color. Yes. There are eggs of white. The right color. There are somewhere in between, right? right? There are eggs that are kind of very, very shiny, mm -hmm. smooth surface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are others that are kind of like uh, some, like some... They have a bump or they... Yeah, some, some bump, yeah, whatever, yeah, 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 especially yeah. The, the brown ones. Right. Which are better? I don't know if... It, I wouldn't... You know, I'm not the expert on what are better, but what I lean toward is getting cage-free, range-free, organic eggs. Oh, there are boxes that say cage-free. They say on it. Or uncaged. Cage-free is usually what cage -free. they say. Cage-free, right. okay, all right. Range-free. Um, uh, that means that they haven't been, you know, you've had those, um, you've seen those TV shows where they, they stack up chickens on top of each other, they're dropping yeah, things yeah, and they're yeah, shooting they're them. Like and you, don't, you, you want cage-free, uh, range-free, um, organic. Um, organic means that the farmers are really not putting the pesticides and chemicals in it and mm. we're not ingesting it. Because we don't, if the animals are ingesting it, and we yeah, eat the animals, yeah, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get then we're going to ingest yes, yeah, yeah. right? We're on full chain, right? Right. So I just really look at, I make sure my cucumbers are organic. I make sure my, my broccoli are, I, I read the back of like hummus, you know, because it can have a lot more things rather than just having the gabonzo beans, you know. Mm. Um, I just really kind of look at to make sure in my salsas that it's, it's ingredients that are fresh, and of course, you have to go to the supermarket a little bit more. But they lie. That's the problem. Okay, they lie. The other day, I came across a bottle, say, uh, grape punch. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, that's the one. That's uh -huh. the real one. Uh -huh. Right. Opening the bottle back home, and then I took the first sip, and I can tell right away mm. that's not natural. Yeah. See. Man, well, but I throw would, in juice, I'm very careful about looking at 
is it natural juice and just filtered water? Mm -hmm. Or is it, uh, they say, fruit flavoring or they juice say, flavoring? They you say grape to, punch. You have they say to, orange punch. You have to look at the labels. Really read the label. The label says a punch. Yeah, but then what does it mean? If, if it doesn't have the ingredients more than that, Jack, right? Okay, okay. You have to look at more than... They may punch if, something else. Yeah, they may, that they may have, right? They so, may punch yeah, something else, I, yeah. I, I, I kind of stick to brands. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I go to Trader Joe's more in terms of... Uh, of well, there's Whole Foods, there's Trader Joe's. There are stores, and, you know, a lot of the... For the, uh, for the uh, native produce, mm -hmm. though, better go tra uh, Trader Joe because they kind of like... Uh, they serve fresh. They do, and, and you know they Rel do. The big, right? the big, the big box stores are getting more um, uh, things that are gluten free because they know a lot of us can't tolerate mm. gluten anymore because it's all just been so genetically modified that we just not our body's not tolerating that, mm. right? So when I go to Tozai, which is a Japanese supermarket in Montebello okay, that I go okay. to, mm. I kind of know what to look for. I go and get the. The, yeah, the, you know the, their system, you, how they lay yeah, out. Yeah, how they lay it mm. out. I get my um, uh, cabbage and... Uh, sure, sure. Uh, Once mm -hmm. again, eggs. Mm -hmm. Some eggs, when you crack open, mm -hmm. the yolk stays there in a very mm -hmm. beautiful ball like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Some, when you crack open, it goes scattered. Ah. So that is no, not a, that I, is no longer good, right? Probably, I wouldn't say 100%, but probably not. I don't eat a lot Obsolete. of, yeah, I don't eat a, you, you know, I pay attention to my husband particularly pays attention to the expiration dates of all products, right? Mm. For instance, our Arbonne products, because we're, we're botanically based, we don't have a long shelf life. Okay, for instance. Yeah, you're right. Do you right. understand? Because if it's banana, I see what botanically you mean. Yeah, based, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not going to have a long shelf yeah, life, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Because it's You're coming. talking banana two days well, you're, you're talking about products that are not going to have. Mm. L let's take an example: women's skin care, because our skin is our largest organ, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you have very beautiful skin. Well, thank you, mm. thank you, and it's yeah. all of the Arbonne products yeah, of because course. it's it's that's an indication to sell. Yes. Okay. So our our skin care products and our makeup products are not going to have a shelf life of more than a year or so because it's all botanically based products. Mm -hmm. But you have some products out there that are very pricey. That can ha they use they use mineral oil that that actually is derivative of crude oil, right? Mm. That they put in their their cosmetics. That the reason they do that it creates the shelf life of that product for up to 15 years. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. you're going into that mm. place. You you think it's brand new because the package is wonderful and it's all. But what you do don't you necessarily do? know. What do you want to do? I go to grocery <laughs> every other day. Well, I usually go I to do the it once a week. I usually go once a week, but my my um, fruit and my vegetables sometimes I may have to go again, right? Because some f some vegetables don't last as long. Some of them last longer. After all, can it be a conclusion that the uh, more frequent you go grocery, by little quantity, rather than going sure. once a week, sure. buying a uh, truckloads? Sure, because you know. My husband grew up with his mother going to the supermarket every day mm. because they ate what they ate, uh -huh. they bought, they I ate, see. went back, they ate, they mm. ate, they bought, they ate that day. So everything was fresh. There, you know, and when you look at it, sometimes that's really not all that bad. You know what? You have a whole <laughs> box of orange, for example, right. right? The supermarket puts a basket on top in the morning, and then by the end of the day, the 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 new supply will gone. Yes. Left over at the bottom is still the old orange. Right. And next morning they put another one. Right. In case you pick up those ones at the bottom. Right. And then you're getting very old oranges. Right. Right. Yeah. You have to know how to select your fruit. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I mean, the other day I went to get pineapple, and the lady at the store station says, "You know, you, the, uh, why don't do you?" Do I go sound get like a woman? No. Already? Because my husband goes to the... Oh, yeah? Oh, absolutely. Oh, thank you. I got a partner. Absolutely. <laughs> That's one of his favorite places to go to, oh, as a matter of fact, is the okay. supermarket. <laughs> All right. I really hate to go, but I have to go. Okay. Oh, we're over time, my dear friend, my dear audiences. And today, I would, I would have to say, is the uh, uh, first time uh, for me to talk about food. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I talked about it happily, and I'm convinced that I would have to
probably call Yolanda, say, hey, mm -hmm. Yolanda, mm -hmm. I'm in. Uh, <laughs> okay. That'd be true. Like that. Yeah. Uh, Yolanda Davis Corey, she is the independent consultant mm -hmm. uh, for healthy living. And we thank her for uh, having shared with us a lot in this area, in this whole. And I believe this is not the only time. And I have to call her again for another show. Because, you know, for this, we can talk about more than one absolutely. or two or three shows. Absolutely, right? absolutely. So, absolutely. And we haven't touched about your powder. Yeah. And about your other stuff. Right. And the skin, right. whatever. Right, right. Men need better skin, too. Absolutely. Right? Very good. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay. My dear audience, thank you very much. We got to see you next time.